Today I'm going to show you how you can embed encounters into documents you create in the codex. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is just how you can embed settings into your document. So for instance, we're going to embed the number of hero setting here. And just to demonstrate, you can name any setting. So if you wanted to remind yourself to adjust your master volume before continuing, you could just embed that setting. You just go setting, uh, colon, and then the name of the setting. You can just get the exact name of the setting from the, the setting system. And you can see that we, we have these settings that are just embedded and available. Then to place an encounter, we use the encounter tag. You can give a unique ID afterwards just to, just to track it as a unique name. Then you can name your name your encounter. And you can start adding groups to your encounter. So I'm going to add a goblin warrior and four goblin spine cleavers. It knows that goblin spine cleavers come in groups of four. I'm going to duplicate that. I'm also going to create another Goblin Warrior and four more Goblin Snipers and I will duplicate this and then I forget exactly what this encounter has but let's say it has two more Goblin Warriors. Now, what you can do is you can specify here that some of the uh, some of the monsters may only show up if there's more than a certain number of heroes. So I'm just going to put some some settings on so you can can configure the encounter to be scalable like that. Once you're done with that, you can save it, and then if we go back out here, you'll see that our encounter appears and you'll see that it is a scalable account encounter. So when we are ready to place the monsters from our encounter, we can just click on them and the codex will just try to lay them out wherever we place the cursor and we'll kind of group them uh, according to their groups. So I'm just going to place them down. But once I've placed them down, what I can do is I can go ahead and rearrange them into different different locations. And so for instance, I can put all of these ones back here and so on. You can you can locate them how, however you want. Um, when you're when you're done locating the monsters in your encounter, what you can do is go back to your encounter and you can click remove from map. And when you do this, it removes them all from the map, but it remembers the positions that you put them in. So now that you've already placed them once, you can at any time come back here and you can go place on map and it will place them again. It also works with scaling. So if you do this and you scale down to only have a few heroes, it'll place less monsters. So that means that you can build an encounter that will automatically scale and you can distribute that encounter and the director who's playing with it, however many heroes they have, it will automatically scale the encounter appropriately. 